Hello there everyone, Santok here with Select Star Gaming and welcome back to more Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Alright, I can guarantee it is time for some high tide adventures here in the Shoal Cave. So, let's head on in. As we can tell, there is water here now. So we can uh, surf around the place, you know, see what this is all about. And go up this little stairs that we couldn't do before. Not that there's anything here. So why did I go here? I honestly could not tell you. Perhaps it was a stupid, but I mean, oh well, right? It's already had, it's already done. Honestly, I don't know why I do that because I could have just like looked to see where shit is and like, hey, you know, that's kind of a dumb place to go. So we're gonna turn around. Hello. Oh, this is a special gold bat, actually. Hang on. What is special about this gold bat? Let's find out. It knows Steel Wing and it's level 45. Holy shit. Alright. Ava, do a fly attack. Sure. Actually, I think I just found out that there is an item over there. But it's one of those hidden items that you can't see. Nope, Golbat's dead. I was considering that if it had lived the second attack, I was thinking about catching it. Just because it had, like, uh, a unique move. But I don't really need to do that. Wait, did Zach and Ava just level 57 at the same time? Hold up. Okay, is that item over here? Hey, it's a star piece. We can confirm. Okay, so now we can go over here. We can't go through that area. Unfortunately, it is currently flooded. But we can go this way now, which we could not reach before. And hey, look! It's the room with the bridges! Fascinating. What the hell was that? Who is it? It's a, a sphere. Oh, damn it. I, thought I screwed up the sneaking. Oh. If we ran into a high level one of them that like could survive... I guess there's another thing here. Oh, uh, it's a fucking tentacle. I don't care. Pass. Show shell. That's two. Just need to find two more. Not sure why there's a little bit of surface there, but okay. God, that's another fucking gold bat. I don't care about gold bat. Random patch of deep water. All right. Rarakande. It's not so much a random patch of deep water. It's just like, hey, we took the area that existed and we added water up to a certain point. Show shell. And there's a fourth one up there. Oh, okay. We're in a battle. That's fine. Golbat. Oh, avoided the attack. What? That's just not right. Okay, seriously, go back. What's the idea here? Could you stop avoiding Dragon Rush? Thank you. Alright, the place we were at is actually the exit, so we want to go here first. No, oh, come up. Get up the stairs! That's the one problem with omnidirectional movement, is that 
Sometimes you're just offset from the stairs just the tiniest bit. Nope, oh, that's... Wait, hold up. What? That's interesting. And I could do that. Huh. Okay. Big pearl. Bigger than our normal pearl. Uh, anything over here? No. Man, come on, dude. Seriously? I can't go up there. That's just rude. Come down to my level. Then we can talk. Unfortunately for you, we still can't talk. And that's it for Shoal Cave. Uh, we're already back at the in well, not strictly the entrance, but the second room. So, actually, no, I guess this is the entrance. All right, so we're gonna give him that salt and shells. Make me a shell bell. And there it is. We have a shell bell now. Done and done. Also, uh, is there something else? Ah, yes, here we go. So he's also gonna give us a second item, a slow bro night. So our slow bros can mega evolve if we have a slow bro, which we don't. A uh, shell bell, I think. Yeah, Holder regains a little HP every time it inflicts damage on others. So it's basically a vampire move, which is awesome. I'm not sure why they made it so that you have to do this convoluted method to get a shell bell in these games when you can get it much easier in other games. But, eh, you know, whatever. Anyways, it's... Okay. It's time to head back to Moth Deep City. I guess like we could actually just fly there, but hey... It's a short route. Why would I... Okay, this is annoying, though. Why would I pass up on the video of possibly getting a bottom County? It's like an easy bit more experience. And then ruin a Pelipper's day. Ruin another Pelipper's day. Th fuck off, Pelipper. Jesus. I'm done with you. Uh, nobody was over here. And there's nobody really in the water that I recall. I see nobody on the beach. Wow, there's all this area down here. Why? Those are some weird looking trees. The fuck? Anywho, now that we're actually uh, we're actually ready to explore a little bit in Mosty, so let's do that. All life needs water to survive, even though it makes its home on the land. And all life, having run its course, becomes soil and returns to the land. Thus, the waters of the sea are always connected to the land. Yes, something, I lost that last line there. Oh well. Nutball. Can I make anything next to it? Nope, okay. Always gotta check though. Sailor, we'll talk to you in a second. Oh Jesus, three hex maniacs. From the time she was a small child, my older sister hardly ever spoke. Somewhere along the line, she learned to read the experiences of certain objects. Um, I'm, in, I'm trying to talk to the lady. Thank you. Tippy toes, toppy toes, sneaking up on pokey toes. Every gym badge tells the story of a hard won victory against a worthy opponent. I can look at a badge and tell you which Pokemon were with you when you won it. Ah, yes, they do this in, like, I don't know when this started happening in the games, but they like to add in an NPC. They can be like, hey, who did I have when I got the Dynamo badge? And they'll be like, hey, you had Loudred and Aeron and Mighty Inna and Curlia and Combuskin and Lombre. A whole team. We were ready for anything. It's a neat little thing, I guess. Don't ask the point in it, but I also don't see the point in not having it, so it's kind of one of those things. I heard from my mates in Lily Cove that the herd of Whalemar has disappeared. I wonder what down over there. Bad stuff. Did we go in here yet? No. When I was young, I traveled the world as a secret base expert. Even now that I've become an old geezer, my passion has not waned. I'm waiting impatiently for a secret base to appear just beyond that door. Can that happen? What? 
Uh, okay. I'm gonna have to look into that. What the fuck? Pokemon! Woo! Hey, you! Quick question! Do you want a TM? Yes. Not this one, though. TM60, quash. That's a TM that my sweetie gave me when I proposed. But I'm not a trainer, so I don't know how to use TMs. Okay. Kind of weird to give away a proposal gift, but sure. Max Repel can keep weak Pokemon away, and it lasts the longest of all the Repel sprays. But pricing-wise, it's better to get a Super Repel. Yeah, weird how that works out. Netballs and dive balls used to be Moss Deep specialties. A netball is effective against Bug-type and Water-type Pokemon. A dive ball works best at Pokemon at the bottom of the sea. You know, when you're diving. And you just have the regular stuff? Yeah, just the regular stuff. Revives are fantastic. Give one to a Pokemon that's fainted, and that Pokemon will be revived. But be careful. Revive won't restore any PP that has been used up by its moves. Yeah. Unfortunately. Liza and Tate and Moss Deep Jim have very mysterious powers. Their powers are paranormal, like psychic-type Pokemon. If you have any trouble, you may want to visit the gym. Oh, we will. Don't worry, but not because we have trouble, but because, well, we're a trainer. We're getting the badges. It's kind of, kind of the thing we do, really. All right, since we're healed up, let's see how we want to rearrange the team here. Um, you know what? We're going to stick General at the top. Again. He spends a lot of time there, it seems. The face of the party, at least for a while. Can I talk to you? Around Moss Deep, you can see Wild Whalmer. It's called... Uh... What is it? Why... We... W Whalmer watching! Okay. My little brother says he's going to find the biggest secret base. Are you? Did you know some items can make secret bases even bigger? Try solid boards and stairs. I didn't know that. Can you create second floors to secret bases? Huh. Interesting. Uh... Okay. I think I know what this place is, but I'm not entirely sure. I got this from Steven, but I don't know what it's good for. I think it's called King's Rock. Do you want it? Fuck yes. Why would you want it? You're weird. You can keep it, but don't tell Steven I gave it away. Fuck yeah. Held item makes crits more likely. Love it. Is it really that fun collecting rocks? I don't get it. Well, somebody's not going to be a rock-type gym leader, that's for damn sure. Hmm, you're Agron. It likes you as much as it likes Pokeblocks. No, it likes you a little bit more than Pokeblocks. Weirdo. My husband measures everything based on Pokeblocks. Yeah, you might want to look into finding a new one. The Island Space Center has been launching huge rockets. That sounds fun. There's a gym. But before we go there, we got a little bit more of the town to explore. We did just see an item. Uh, this whole section that we kind of skipped over, oh, not that part yet. Wait, what? Oh, for a second there, I thought the gym was on the level. I was very confused. Revive! Oh, is this going to be the Ultra Rod Man? Hey, or Super Rod, rather? Hey there, trainer! A Super Rod really is super! Say what you want! But this baby can catch Pokemon right off the seat floor. What do you think? You want one, don't you? Yeah, I'll take one. You bet, you bet. After all, a super rod is the definition of super. Whatever you say, sir. Something about biting. I don't. I didn't see the rest of the dialogue. I just saw the word bite. A voyage on a ship is fine, but crossing the sea with a Pokemon using serve? Now that's an exhilarating trip. Wouldn't you agree, youngster? I mean, it could be faster, but yeah. It's the rocket ship, but we can't really see it from here. Kind of sad. Kind of silly that you wouldn't be able to see it 
quick. What the hell? This rocket is a special meaning to the people at the Space Center. They put it here as their wish for their rockets to fly safely. When you make a wish, what do you use? Do you wish upon a star? I use a wish tag to make it happen. That's what I do. I don't really make wishes. I just tend to let life happen as it happens. I don't like the idea of relying on wishes and things. Even though I can't see my dear friend in Fortree, a Pokemon carries mail back and forth for us. That's where the Wingle went! I'm not lonely, even though we're apart. You! You! I was looking for you! You just disappeared! We're gonna have to go back to Fortree City at some point. What the fuck? My little sister is always getting letters from her boyfriend in Fortree. I'm not jealous. Not even a little. Yeah, you're jealous. It's okay. A lot of people get jealous of things like that. Just don't let your jealousy turn into something worse. Wouldn't it be nice if this island, no, the whole world was burgeoning with nature? But then we would lose the rocket ship. Oh well. Welcome to the space station, or space museum, or space space. I was thinking you strolled on the beach when I found this. It's not anything I need, so you can have it. A sunstone! If we caught a gloom, we could, be, we could make it up a blossom. The Hoenn region has been famous for its meteor showers for a long time. Meteor showers are fun. Some people claim that Pokemon came from space. Could it be true? Well, Clefairy. I'd like to go to space with my Pokemon for a rendezvous in the starry sky. This rocket! Thick! Oh, God. That's a dialogue choice. So, on the topic of Pokemon in space, I do think some Pokemon, you know, it kind of makes sense that they did come from space, purely from, like, how we see things in the games. Like, Clefairy and Clefable are said to come from the moon. So, Rock and Lunatone kind of come off as spacey Pokemon to me. Uh, there's another one in Gen 7, Me Meteor, which looks like a meteor. That would make sense, or meteorite, rather. Uh, oh, there's there's LGM and Behem, which are literally supposed to be, uh, like, UFO Pokemon. Like, come on. A rocket launch demands perfection! Not even even a 1% margin of error is allowed. Even if it's 99% okay, the whole thing is useless if 1% has to be no good! Despite that, we never stop trying. Why? Well, it's a dream that never ends. Are they from space? I mean, who knows, but it would make sense. Welcome to the Moss Deep Space Center. Please enjoy our interactive experiences about space exploration. A giant chunk of metal bursts through the sky and flies into space. It boggles the mind. Is there somebody else over here? No, okay. The rocket was launched safely. That's successful launch number two. Congrats. What'd you do with the launch, though? Like, did it go anywhere? Did it do anything? This is the Pokemon equivalent to NASA. Most deep has many clear days, and its wind patterns are stable. That's why it's an ideal location for launching rockets into space. Ooh, can I read these notes? There's also another door over there. Cannot read the notes, apparently. No, we can't go through the door either. I don't think I, is there anybody else in here? Nope, that's all there is the words. That's all there is to see here, I guess. And that's all there is to see in Moss Deep before we go to the gym. So, let's make our way there. At least it didn't make us pay to go in the space museum. The stupid ocean museum made us pay. That stupid ocean museum. Nobody likes you. Oh boy. Yo! How's it going, Champ 2 B Zantuck? The gym leaders here use psychic type Pokemon. If you go up against them with fighting or poison type Pokemon, they'll do horrible damage to your Pokemon. They'll come at you with outstanding combination attacks. If you want to win, you'll need to show them how tight you are with your Pokemon. Go for it. Oh, I will. We have to follow the dots. The dots bring us places. Battles hinge on the strength of your spirit. The weak spirited will never win. 
Psychic Preston. One Pokemon. Figures. Come on, this is the seventh gym. You guys should be a little bit more threatening than this. But whatever. Iron Head. Oh wow, level 42. Finally something that's going to be a little bit higher level. You son of a bitch. You stole Sturdy. Why are you using roleplay a second time? That's so weird. Like, you already took my sturdy ability. Why would you do that again? That is so stupid. Please have better AI. This is why people make uh, challenge runs in Pokemon or make ROM hacks with more higher difficulties. Because sometimes the Pokemon games are just kind of easy. But well, they're still fun, but they could definitely do with a difficulty upgrade. At the very least, better AI. Jesus Christ. I can't get enough of the way you go floating up softly in this gym. That's kind of a weird thing that you can't get over. But hey, you know, live your life, Joshua. Another Kadabra. Is it going to use roleplay? And only roleplay? Let's find out. We know one Iron Head isn't going to do the full trick, but we'll do it anyways. Ooh, he's actually attacking. Fairly decent damage, I guess, for being not very effective. And being that many levels below us. Can't really complain. A Metacham! Oh god, why did I not switch out? Okay, we are Mega Evolving purely because what if we are slower? Because we are double weak to fighting right now, and this is a terrible idea. I could have just swapped out, but oh well. No big deal. Nice. We all sped it anyways. Touch the thing. The pattern changes once more. But now... Uh... Kind of confusing where to go. Okay, I think I know what to do that. I can go here, and then if I go here, it should take you to that Hex Maniac. That's like an optional... You don't have to battle them, but you can. I am from Mount Pyre. Taste the power my Pokemon and I have attained in the place where spirits of Pokemon slumber. A Curlia? Really? At level 39, you have a Curlia in this gym. That's another thing I really wish, like, come on, if you're gonna give me NPC trainers, the Pokemon should, their, the Pokemon evolution should match to whatever their level are. If they have, a, if they have leveled up to the point where they can evolve, they should be evolved. This is stupid. Sky Uppercut! Um, let's see here. 85 power. Compared to Double Kick, which is 30. Even if it's done twice, yeah, goodbye Double Kick. We have Sky Uppercut now. Blaziken, you honestly could be a clone, or... What's it called? An Echo Fighter. That's what I meant to worry. An Echo Fighter of Captain Falcon. Honestly, you could be. Easily. Although I feel like the Pokemon Company wouldn't allow it. They are a little bit protective of their stuff. The Pokemon costumes in, Mario Mar in the first Mario Maker weren't even allowed to have special animations or sound effects. It's crazy. Like, seriously? Get over yourselves. Watch me levitate the Pokeball telekinetically! Sometimes I'm out of sync. Poor guy. It's okay, you'll get there. Psychic Fritz! He's got a clay doll. 
All right, Fritzy boy. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna hit you with my iron head and then you're going to get knocked out. Oh no, you li Oh. Did that just do like four damage? I mean, I know we it's not very effective, but that means even if it wasn't, it would have been pitiful. What the fuck? All right, I'm just gonna add that to material in my list of reasons why I don't want to use a clay doll. Number, reason number one is I don't like how clay doll looks. Uh, heavy slam, I think we're gonna pass on that, yeah. Uh, more damage depending on how much we outweigh the target. I don't like situational ones like that very much. No, I don't want to forget him. God damn, I hate that. I get it. It's so that if somebody accidentally chooses that they don't want to learn the move, and then they just start button spamming, but it's still very annoying. Sitting in star me, I should have swapped out, but we'll be okay. General, go for the uh, Iron Tail. It used Rapid Spin. Could have used a Water type move. But no, it decided to be stupid. We lowered its defense. It's going to go down to another move. Recover! Oh, you cheeky bastard. For good measure. I'm expecting it to try and recover again. No, Confuse Rate. That's arguably worse. Shit. God damn it, General. Girl, listen. You need to stop being... There's the Recover. Just as I feared. But if we can pull off Iron Tail... Thank you. Oh, fuck. Accuracy. There we go. It lived! Fuck. Stop using recover! <laughs> no! Enough! Damn it, General. It's gonna recover again. Alright, this is annoying. Just... F okay, thank God, it's using Swift. Jesus Christ, this fucking Starmie. Asshole. Okay, now we can... There's two paths. Uh, I think this one? Nope. Shit, I ended up going backwards. Why? I guess if you want to, like, go back to the beginning so you could try to heal, but... Uh, no. I'm getting an ominous feeling about you. Okay. Hex Maniac Patricia with her Chimicho. Or Chimeco, rather. Okay, General. So, I know the last battle went a little bit rough. So, if you could pick it up. Thank you. All right, touch the stone. We move on here to another optional fight. Let me see your talent. Psychic Virgil starting with a Kadabra. 
Man, three people could have it. You could have had Alakazam by this point. You could have all just treated between each other. And then gotten Alakazams. It would have been super easy for you. Telekinesis. Oh, that's a cool animation. I like that. Uh, what did it do, though? It just hurled us into the air, but there was no damage. So there's got to be a secondary effect, but what is it? That's weird. Hmm. Let's see if I can look this up. Giraffe rig. Oh, wow! Okay, so Teltines is actually interesting. Uh, it raises the target into the air for three turns, and then all moves made against them. Uh, with the exception of one-hit KO moves, will always hit. Wow! It also makes him immune to, like, ground-type moves, spikes, toxic spikes, and arena trap. And then there's some other stuff, though. Wow, that's actually really cool. Huh. Okay, so we can go back here now. We're back to the beginning. We could go heal up, but nah. I think we'd have to do the whole puzzle all over again if we did that. So we're just gonna move ahead. Hello, you two. Were you surprised that there are two gym leaders? We're twins. We don't need to talk because we can each tell what the other is thinking. All in our minds. This combination of ours, can you beat it? They can also apparently fly. So, gym leaders Tate and Liza, or Liza and Tate, rather. They are sending out Lunaton and Sorok. This is a double battle. Really cool that they were having a double battle gym battle. I'm a big fan of this idea. Uh, if you've been wondering why there's two Pokemons on display today, that is why. Simple enough. Uh, let's see here. I'm just going to do, I'm going to start off with Mega mm, No. No, I'm not going to Mega Ball. We're going to do Rock Slide. I'm gonna do a hyper voice. Hits them both. Unfortunately, neither of these moves, both these moves I believe will be not very effective. So I'm kind of curious what the damage will be. Oh no, that was actually neutral. Huh. That was not very effective. Did it take them both out? Oh no, but it did flinch them both. That's actually really funny. In that case, let's do single targets on both of them to just kind of embarrass them even further. Uh, Iron Head and Strength. I forgot about Hyper Potions. God damn it. That's okay. It's fine. It's all fine. I should have done Iron Head and Crunch, considering they could have gotten super effective hits on both. Oops. My bad. I had completely forgotten when I was using Iron Head that I was like, oh, this would be super effective. No, I didn't even think about it. Eh, you know, it happens. Uh, let's do Iron Head then, and we'll do Crunch this time. But Iron Head will take out Lunatone easy. Our teamwork. Yes, it pales to me. It can't be helped. You've won. So take this in recognition. It's our seventh badge. What's it called? The Mind Badge, I think? Yes, the Mind Badge. The Mind Badge has the power to make all Pokemon of the level 80, including those you've received from other people, obey you. It also enables Pokemon to use the HM move called Dig. Dive. What the fuck? And take this too. TMO4. Calm Mind. Calm Mind comes from relaxing your mind and concentrating. Pokemon Special Attack and Pokemon Special Defense will be heightened by this move. It's a perfect move for Psychic-type Pokemon. 
Looks like the bond between you and your Pokemon is far stronger than the bond we share as twins. That's sad for you. But you'll go on from here to form even more bonds. That's the future I see for you. There may be a harsh ordeal ahead for you and your Pokemon, but that's alright. You and your Pokemon aren't alone. You have each other. That's why we want you to face whatever troubles may come your way, head on and full of courage. Thanks! Let's get out of here. Uh-oh. Has the plot come to say hello? Oh, hello! Wh what? Pillar of Light appear from the sea. That direction is that the direction of Route One Twenty Eight? Whoa, dude! Seriously, dude! Oh, this is the end of the world. Skitty, don't worry. Calm down. Whoa, that was like a total shocker. What the heck was that? The big fat pillar of light. It totally came out of here, didn't it? What did you do? Zantok. I heard from little Liza and T that you visited their gym. Dude, we just walked out the front door. How the fuck did you just hear about this? It's, it's been like, not even a minute. I was thinking of trying to catch you while you were in the area. But then, this happened. We should talk. Let's go to my place. Yeah, alright. Ah, uh, yes. I suppose I should welcome you to my home. Please forgive the rather sparse decor. Now, where to begin? Let's take a moment to understand what is happening to our world right now. That rumbling that shook the earth just now? The eardrumming, rupturing explosion we heard? They are proof that a seal, which was long hidden deep under sea, has been undone at last. Ah, fuck. Team Aqua. The super ancient Pokemon that has been sealed deep beneath Route 128. Ever since ancient times. It has slipped now until now the seafloor cavern. The entrance to that cavern was sealed by the power of a certain Pokemon, all in an effort to keep any human or Pokemon from ever breaching it. But now it appears that the scheming of that terrible team has undone the seal. There is no doubt that they intend to revive the super ancient Pokemon, and once they do, it seems they hope to make its power their own. Zantok? That, if that team obtains the power of the super ancient Pokemon, it will upset the balance of nature in this world. A crisis unlike any other before it will befall every living thing on this planet. I plan to do everything in my power to quell this situation. That is my duty. But there is a limit to what I can do with my power alone. That is why I am asking for your help. I have great faith in your abilities. Lend me your strength to help put a halt to these team's mad ambitions. With you and I, and our Pokemon all working together, we will overcome this disastrous turn of events. I don't think it is out of the question. I will entrust you with this. HMO7 Dive, fucking finally. If you use Dive, you will be able to dive to the ocean floor with your Pokemon, and take this so you can stay with your Pokemon even in the depths of the ocean. We got a scuba suit. If you were to use Dive in the current stretch of water along Route 128, I believe you should be able to reach the entrance to the sea floor cavern. I will join you when I finish my duties. Please do what you can to stop Team Aqua and Team Magma until then. I am trusting you to do this for me. Well, shit! As soon as we finish getting our gym battle completed, uh, Team Aqua decided to pull some nonsense, and now we have to go save the world. 
pretty typical for Pokemon. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and heal up, and then that will be it for today. Next time, let me give you a quick little teaser. The final evolution for our team will finally fucking happen. Oh my god. About damn time. See you all then. Bye, everyone.